Hello everyone, it's me, Fallen835, back for another Transformers review. Today I'm reviewing Transformers Dark of the Moon, Cyberverse Commander Autobot Guzzle. So here he is in his packaging, as you can see, it's an okay packaging. You have Transformers Dark of the Moon at the top, and you have Cyberverse Collect the World. You have a picture of his alt mode as a tank. You can see him through the clear. Got his name, Autobot, got an Autobot symbol on the back. You've got his bio, which a fuel shortage won't stop Autobot Guzzle from testing his cannons on Decepticons. And then you've got a obligatory product shot. Uh, one out of nine is a commander. Warning in all different languages. So I'm not even going to try to read those. On the back, barcode and Transformers Club. Yeah. So. I'm going to open this and I'll see you in a minute to see how good he is out of his packaging. And so here he is in his vehicle mode. As you can see, it's a tank. It's a very nice tank. It's very green. It has this green paint scheme with the silver here and here. And then the yellow for the symbols there. And then a dark grey for the tracks. It's very nice. Um, the turret does not move. Neither does the barrel. However, it does come with weapons such as these, which you can place on top, on the pegs here, like so. So he can be mega armoured up. So there we are, he can be mega armoured up, going to defeat some Decepticons. Yeah, yeah. As a comparison, what do I have to compare offhand? I don't know. Here he is next to. A generation one roller as you can see he's roughly roughly the same size as him roughly which it's good it means he can go in scale with Metroplex which I think is brilliant um, but I don't know when you're gonna be using him it's only if you have Encore Metroplex as well and so I'm gonna go and get him transformed into robot mode and I'll see you in a minute and so here he is in robot mode. And may I say, it is one very good robot mode considering the size. Uh, I really, really love the robot mode. Very nice. You've, as you can see, the green still carries on from the vehicle mode. But you've also got this yellow for the chest, as well as blue for the head. And then this sort of sandy colour for the head crest. And then you have a red Autobot symbol on there. Very nice. I really, really love this figure. It's growing on me. You've got the cannon at the back. Um, these guns can be placed in either hand or they can join together to create a big gun. So like, you can take this one and place it on top to form some sort of double-barreled wielding of death type thing, which is quite cool. Articulation, it's not that great considering it's a commander figure, but it's still very good. The legs are on a ball joint, so they can go, they've got a, quite a full range of movement, like so. They also bend here, at the knee, but that's due to transformation, but still, it still allows you to get a few decent poses. The arms, they can, the top part of the arms can move in and out like that, and then these can move backwards, they can only do... This, this sort of movement because of the way that the arm is constructed the joint and due to transformation so you can either have him with like gorilla arms or you can have him shooting out the front like that which is it, it's better it, it makes it look a whole lot better uh, his feet can move up and down I suppose but that's just due to transformation and also this cannon you can swivel it around have it here here, or you can have it below, which, yeah, it, it, it makes it look like, mm, let's not go into that, shall we? But very nice, uh, the very, really good head sculpt, I don't know if this camera's going to pick it up, but very, very nice. This is one Dark of the Moon figure that I'm happily, happy to say is worth your money. Go out and buy this figure, because this is brilliant. Even if you haven't read Last Stand of the Wreckers, it's still a very good toy. I would highly recommend it. 
I mean, if you compare it to other commander figures, such as the Power Glide, the Blackout, they're not that good, but this is the one to buy. Go out and buy him, he's brilliant. And that concludes my review. Hope you've enjoyed it, stay tuned for more. And next, it'll probably be a Halo review. So until then, bye for now.